Hey guys, welcome back to Cult of the Lamb. On our last episode, we defeated our first bishop. That's right, we killed Leshy, uh, released one of the chains that is binding our master, and we stole his beating heart. So, we're gonna go show that off to our followers and show them how badass we are. We also have some repairs and stuff to do, but let's head right to the temple first. The important things out of the way. So, using the beating heart, we should be able to expand our crown. And so our options are Resurrection, The Hunger, Omnipresent, and Darkness Within. What is Darkness Within? Receive a diseased heart at the beginning of each crusade run. I don't know what a diseased heart is, but uh, let's, let's try it, shall we? Let's, let's get the Darkness Within as our first upgrade. Alright, we've unlocked a new crown ability. You will begin each new crusade with a diseased heart. Diseased hearts damage all enemies in the room when you take a hit. Oh wow, that's awesome! Okay, very happy I decided to channel my inner darkness after all. <laughs> now everyone get in here for a sermon! I need to tell you about how I felled Leshy and I'm now the greatest lamb who ever lived. Woohoo! And I'll get an upgrade. We've only got one option. It's Curse of the Horde. Three new curses will appear on our Crusades. Alright, and then we can also... I think we can get another Doctrine. How do I get the doctrine? These are all the doctrines I've unlocked. It must be in her crown. Ah, yes. Okay, here we go. Declare a new doctrine. And what this time we'll do, um... Afterlife. Nobody has died yet, but I'm sure it's coming. The necessity of sacrifice or the comfort of the afterlife. Belief in afterlife trait. All cult members will gain the belief in afterlife trait. They'll only lose 5 faith when a follower dies instead of 20. Let's get that. Sounds like it'll probably come in handy for when one of our followers dies, which is probably gonna happen sooner rather than later. We've survived a whole week without casualties. I feel like it's a new record for a cultist. Alright, that's everything. Thanks, guys. Now, we actually have a new follower to indoctrinate. His name is Jar. Jar, I like your name. I like your form. Maybe we'll make you a fun color, though. Like a, a yellow. Um, now, it looks like he has all bad traits. He's sickly, he's a germaphobe, and he's faithless. Lo lovely, Jar. Welcome. You're gonna be a valued member of this cult. Now, I need you to go mine rocks. Oh. Alright, so I want to get shelter. Upgrade to a more stable shelter, which will collapse less often. Because I see we've already got beds up there that are collapsed. So, let's start replacing them with shelters. How do I destroy objects, I wonder? Is that in here? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so let's just remove the destroyed ones, replace those with shelters, and then... They actually don't cost that much. They cost stone plus the lumbering coins, that's the difference. Now, unfortunately, stone is kind of our... Uh, Achilles heel. So you actually need the sleeping bag first, and then you upgrade the sleeping bag to a shelter. So we're still gonna need sleeping bags. Really, all pitching in here to build this shelter. <laughs> Thanks, guys. 
There we go. Oh. Well, while I'm here, I can give you a blessing. enough beds for everyone? We have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that's enough. Alright, let's bless everyone. I like how they're still wearing their flower necklaces that I gave them. They clearly treasure my gift. Also, it is now day eight. We have officially been a cult leader for more than a week now. So that's good. We have a gift. Yeah, I can give you a feather necklace. There you go. Look at you. Culty. Looking great. Now here's my blessing. And you, Elmo. Uh, I have a gift for you too. A small gift. I don't know what's inside, but I guess you'll find out. Wow, it's a doll of me! Best gift ever. <laughs> Not only do you get an action figure of me, the greatest lamb who ever lived, but I'll also give you my blessing. Hi, Muffin. I love you. I've, I'm already feeling like I should not have created Muffin because I just have this deep, dark feeling that she's probably going to be <laughs> the first follower that dies or something, and then I'm going to be absolutely devastated, but win some, you lose some, I guess. Let's do a little poop cleaning. I wish I could litter train my followers. Get them to poop in one spot. That would be helpful. Instead of me wandering around. Hey, look! Our berries! It's our first harvest, everybody! That's so exciting. pick all of our berries here, and then replant and water. Presumably we'll get different types of seeds later. Right now we only have berry bush seeds. So my followers are on a strict berry diet, which is apparently very high in fiber. Uh, actually, it looks like we have some other type of seed here too. We have camellia seeds, which I think are flowers. So that's cool. There's a bunch of rocks up here? Nice! Good job, guys. So it looks like we're soon going to be out of rock deposits, though. So I don't know where we're going to get our rocks from then. You guys are a little bit hungry, so we'll do some cooking. Ooh, we can make a tasty fish meal. A satisfying dish made with care. Or a hearty meat broth. And a basic berry bowl. Man, I am treating my cultists a life of luxury. They're gonna have great meals when they wake up from their nap. And by nap, I mean, you know, bedtime. Ew! Hang on! What are spiders doing in my camp? Apparently I can catch them? And they give me meat? I would rather starve to death than eat a spider. Oh god, okay. I hate this. Um... <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh, hang on! Stone mine! This is what we need once all the rocks are gone, is to create a stone mine. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, prison? Holds naughty followers. <laughs> Basic decorations. I want that. I want to beautify the place. Seeing as there's spiders running amok right now, it's clearly not the best place around. What's up, Foxy? I thought you, you should be asleep. Pardon me, leader. I would love some of the flowers from Darkwood Dungeon if you could collect some. Sure.
Now, let's check for decorations. Oh, we can also make the tabernacle. Just do a bit of late night building. Oh no, Foxy! Oh, Foxy's over here puking on other people's meals. Foxy! Oh my god. Yeah, go to bed, dude. You're <laughs> I don't know why you're awake eating fish stew in the middle of the night anyway. What'd you think was gonna happen, dude? Oh my. Alright. Back, back to building. <laughs> Why are your beds collapsing all the time? There, I fixed them. I'm the best cult leader ever, I know, you don't have to tell me. Now, yeah, decorations. Let's just make a whole bunch of decorations. Honestly, I feel like I have way too many flower wreaths. I just built them all. Because we had that one quest to do so, so I'm gonna get rid of some. Just so there's not, like, too much of the same thing all around. Now we can put a flag, and let's put it by the chest. And then what else do we have? We have an ancient stone, a cool spooky stone formation. Okay. Uh, is that there? No, I can't go there. That, uh, I don't know. Where's a good place for a spooky stone formation? Just put it, uh, right there. What else do we got? We got a potted bush, a pretty bush in a decorative pot. We've got grass wall, better than nothing. I gotta be honest, I don't really want that, so <laughs> I'm not gonna build that. Uh, then we've got small stone candle. Oh, that's spooky and cool. That definitely fits our cult aesthetic. Let's just like kind of put those around so when they're working at night they have some candles. And then what else do we have? We have twig wall, candle barrel, and flower arch. I definitely want the flower arch for as I walk in and walk through the arch. Put it right there. And then the candle barrel. We got lots of candles around. Candles are not an issue. <laughs> We've got plenty of light. Put them right in the corners. There we go, guys. You got a ton of decorations now. Well, once you actually build them. These guys are having their breakfast. Nobody's vomiting, so that's good. I have to cook some more, though, because it looks like people are still hungry. Tasty fish meal. Stringy meat gruel. Meager mixed meal. Bisque berry bowl. There you go. Food for everyone. I'll give blessings to all these guys. Foxy's gonna level up. Sweet. Huh? 
We should see what people are thinking, too. We haven't read any minds in a while. What's Muffin thinking? Boring. Must avoid them in the future. Oh, that was a bad chat with someone. They're happy that our glorious cult continues to grow. They watch an inspiring sermon from their glorious leader. They're worshipping me in awe. They're making new friends. They had a good time at the feast. Okay, so look, looks like everyone's pretty happy with the, the direction of things. So that's good. Keep it up, guys. We're doing great. Speaking of great, I think mostly everything is all built now. Almost. Look at our cult! There's so many flowers. This is the prettiest cult I've ever seen. I love it. Now, one thing I did wish- Oh, Rudolph and Elbow have become friends! Congrats, guys! One thing I did wish is I wish I could see sort of a, a list of what all my followers are assigned to, because I honestly don't know what everybody's doing. Dig up the sapling. Cool. I got some lumber. I think everybody... Well, all the trees are cut down, see? So... I think mostly everybody's either praying or mining. Which, yeah, that works. Alright guys, before I head out for the day, let's go do a sermon, shall we? So many level ups. Fervor of the Righteous. Increase the total amount of fervor you can hold, allowing you to cast an additional curse. I like that, but I also want to check this. Hearts of the Faithful too. Permanently gain half a heart. Okay, no, I want that first. I still want the other thing, but I want this first. There you go, guys. I've also got another tablet. Oh, it's on cooldown, though. Okay. So we'll declare a new doctrine tomorrow. For now, y'all go do your thing. I'm gonna go check out Pilgrim's Passage. Maybe do some fishing. Alright, what do we got here? What is this? Unlocked follower forms. Oh, it's like a vending machine! It's currently sold out, but you can buy new follower forms. That's cool. There's a ton of berry bushes here, so we'll pick these berries. There's also rocks here we can mine. Okay, so there's a ton of resources here. It's not just a fish fishing place. It's like a resource place. Ah, and I see the fisherman down there. I'll be right there, dude, after I take literally everything I can from up here first. <laughs> I got a few trees to cut down, a few berries to pick, and then I'll come chat with you. What's up, dude? Fancy seeing you here. Well, look what the tide dragged in. What are you just standing there for? Think I'm gonna fish for you? I'm not one of your mindless acolytes. Ah, so we can go fishing. Fun. Honestly, <laughs> I know I've already made the Stardew comparison, but th that fishing mechanic is very similar to Stardew Valley. <laughs> Hmm, not so useless after all. Listen, perhaps we could help one another. I happen to have caught some extremely valuable treasures in my time. Things that a fish like me, uh, I mean a fisherman like me, has no use for. But to you, well, you look like you like valuable things. Below these waters lurk some of the hardest to catch beasts that ever lived, and I've been trying for years. If you can snag them, these treasures are yours. Catch me a crab, a lobster, an octopus, and a squid. Take this, as a gesture of good faith between two non-fish friends. 
Okay, tarot card unlocked. Neptune's Curse. Enemies have a chance to drop a fish. Alright, well let's do some more fishing, shall we? I gotta be honest, this this fishing's kind of hard. We got uh, we got something though, a lobster. Ooh, three fishies. I'm trying to fish everything up that my non fish fish friend wants. Ooh, you can even catch blueprints. Hey, we can have a fish follower now! Cool. Hopefully he can just breathe air like the rest of our followers. Oh yeah, we're catching good stuff. We got salmon, we got tuna. This actually isn't as hard as I originally thought. It's a lot more forgiving than you'd expect when your little hook isn't in the area. I'm just gonna catch every single fish that's here to prove that I'm the ultimate fisher lamb. It. I caught literally every fish in the ocean. I have two things to give you. I have a crab. Pinch me! This gave me such a fight. I thought I'd hooked a whale. It's yours now. Ooh. What is that? I don't know. But I like it. <laughs> Here's a lobster. Lobster! Very good, very good. As promised, here's a bit of treasure. Okay, so he's gonna give me one piece of this treasure for every fish that I catch him. Cool. Well, we're halfway there and I caught every fish in the ocean, so I guess that's all we can do for tonight. Oh, hang on! I can peer into the darkness. What the heck? A little lamb, all alone. Careful. You never know what lurks in the night. And yet I smell no fear on you. How curious. Ah, I see. You wear the red crown. I knew your predecessor. He was a weak and cowering thing. Not like you, I should think. Little lamb, you've made a deal before. How about another? Fear not. I won't ask for anything as valuable as your eternal servitude. I'm hungry. Starving. Ravenous. I want a fish. A big fish. I'll give you something in return. Do you accept? Sure. Um... What about tuna? Clever creature, take this and look away, won't you? I'm afraid I'm a bit of a messy eater. You will not see me here again, but our paths will cross elsewhere, in the moments of chance, in the cover of night. Ooh. Another piece. Okay, well, I'm glad we peered into the darkness. Now, what's this over here? Whoa! Hi! Ah, who dares enter our sacred house of light? Apologies, it's just that the lighthouse is getting dimmer no matter how hard we worship and the ships keep sinking on the rocks. No ships means no new pilgrims to walk the sacred path. If only our leader was here, she would know what to do. We have not seen her since she went for a walk on the pier late one night. We begged her not to go. We all know of the teeth and the darkness, but she would not listen. Now we have no choice but to pray until the lighthouse is lit once more. All hail the mighty light! How do I fix the lighthouse? Oh, I can add fuel to the furnace. <gasps> Our prayers have been answered! Thank you, O oh Bright One, for sending this lamb to save us. Now the pilgrims will return to our shores. For restoring the light, we pledge ourselves to you. We are your unworthy servants, mighty lamb. We will pray to you in your great light on this shrine. Please bathe in our adoration. Sick! So all these guys pray to me now because I lit their furnace. 
Look at that. Perfect. Look, they're even flying my flags now. Oh my god! Whoa! And they open stores and stuff. Oh great, leader in light. What do you know about tarot cards? I cannot use them myself, but I find them often when walking by the sea. Even though they are half drowned or buried in sand, they do not tear or warp. Isn't that odd? Some say the cards reveal fate. I say the cards are $25 each. <laughs> Interested? Yeah, for sure. I'll take that one. Harvest bonus resources. I'll uh, leave for now, but I'll definitely come back and buy those. I want to see what this guy's selling. I had a lover once who went to sea and never came back. They used to lay flowers by my door. Flowers suit the young and beautiful best. They've no place with me. Please, buy them. They bring only sadness now. Oh, cool. You can buy different uh, decorations. Alright, well this is great! We turned on the lighthouse, we caught some fish, we fed a dark fox guy. We got a whole bunch of new followers. We got a whole bunch of resources. We went shopping. What more could one small lamb possibly ask for in a day, right? I'm gonna cut down this last tree, and then I think we will call it a day for today's episode, everybody. We've made it to day 10. That popped up when we were in the lighthouse there. And so things are chugging along, proceeding very smoothly. And uh, I, I gotta say, I am really, really enjoying this game so far. It's just pure fun. So hopefully it is just as fun to watch as it has been to play. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time for another episode of Cult of the Lamb.